Welcome to Ghost in the Shell First Assault, a brand new free-to-play PC tactical FPS or first-person shooter that will be launching next year. Now, the game caught my attention just slightly, mainly because I am a fan of Ghost in the Shell, uh, especially when I was younger, but also the high budget that's put into this. It's quite clear that these guys are making an FPS first that just happens to have Ghost in the Shell themed wrapped around it. Now, we've already got eight classes, fully customizable, specialized body augmentations, weapon attachments, and enhanced abilities. It even appears that you can play the characters from the original anime. Now, the combat also features a combination system. So, basically, you know, your combat gets improved by connecting hits and kills. Now, when I think about Ghost in the Shell, it reminds me of what I imagined Cyberpunk 2077 to be like just from watching that trailer. By the way, that's a game that hasn't been released yet by CD Projekt Red. But when I also think about CD Projekt Red, I know that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to have really in-depth RPG elements which may not appear in this title you know I, we don't know yet we don't know both aren't released it also has some kind of destiny flavor to it as well what I do like about this particular art style is that they're not completely milking the anime they're not the characters do look similar they don't have in, you know incredible cell shading or anything like that this is clearly a game by itself uh, that yeah like I mentioned is just ghost in the shell themed it's quite clear that the foundations of a shooter that appears in the gameplay trailer. Now, I'm not a big fan of shooters whatsoever, but I did enjoy my experience on Deus Ex as briefly as it was, and I also am anticipating that Overwatch from Blizzard is going to be a fantastic game that I'll probably be playing. So I am interested in Ghost in the Shell as well. Now, here's the cool part. The closed beta is only one month away. They've just literally dropped it. You can actually sign up right now. That is October the 1st to the 4th, 2015. Sorry if you're watching this video past this date. Now, featured on the website is a list of the regions supported by Ghost in the Shell First Strike. And yes, you guessed it, Australia, my country, is featured as well. So I have signed up to the closed beta. Maybe this is going to be the title that wins me over to shooters. In the meantime, I'm going to stick to my action RPGs and other games that I like to play. But I really want Ghost in the Shell to be great and to win me over. So what do you guys think? Are you a fan of Ghost in the Shell? Are you going to sign up to it just for that reason? Do we even need another free-to-play FPS or an FPS in general, even non-free-to-play? And lastly, if you do like these type of games, what do you reckon about Ghost in the Shell? Is it tickling you? A little bit of tickles? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Elvis. Catch you next time. See ya.